Greetings and salutations, welcome back to our Let's Play of U4 with Red Bastard as Korea. Where we last left our nation, we had just beaten up on Quarchin a little bit and fed Caradel, our ally, just because that's a glorious AI, Caradel, and we weren't really responsible for any of their success, as far as I can remember. Um, so we gave them a few provinces here that weren't in our states. And we're also enjoying our beautiful reduction to idea cost here for another couple of years where our ideas are costing us something like 230 monarch points each so that's really nice i think i'm actually going to hold off on an expansion for the moment yeah maybe i'll prey upon brunei nothing Ooh, that's a lot nothing super significant I'm going to build this up to an occupation force eventually. The reason for saying that I want to hold off on any major expansions until after 1639 is it's hard to justify spending monarch points on anything except for ideas right now. Okay, they close this off again. So we're going to have to get this guy and march straight through this zone. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have a conquistador anyway. Single one. And this stuff just isn't attractive to me. I, I don't care about my conquest at the moment. Okay, what would this do for us? Missionary strength. We're not going to convert anything, so that's worthless to us. Uh, yeah, let's get the... Ooh, whoops. I was looking at down here at the nobility. Don't do that, kids. Yeah. I give them more influence, give them up to 60. But I think I'll just wait till their influence gets higher. The robber barons expires. Actually, should I? It's a full seven years. I'll just wait for their loyalty to go up. Get some cash. We really don't need to optimize it. We're not hurting for any. Though, then again, I shouldn't be teaching people bad habits. Oh! That's getting ugly. Let's fall back. I hadn't meant to march directly, land directly into that fight. But I guess it worked out. Okay, where do we need our troops next? Probably... Baryadia is the only place that I could see. Um, but we'll probably be able to avoid that, just by coring. Let's go ahead and have this guy hunting for the Seven Cities. Nothing else, he'll explore stuff and prevent that sort of problem from happening again. Ming. Ming up in Alaska. Arrival, arrival, I like that. I could just click on me on Ottomans. This gives us a look at some of the stuff along the way. Prove our relations here. Lundway. I saw that blue out of the corner of my eye. I thought it was a European. Look at that Castile. We could probably threaten them for one of their provinces. Ideally, in an area. Ugh. I mean, we have money. I 
now we don't have as much, so now I need to be less flippant about it. Okay, still not getting this guy. Um, So closing... Oh yeah, Great Britain. I've forgotten about you. Let's pull this guy back. Okay, so where do we want another colony? Have some land here. And there, so I mean we could get one here with our South Korea going on <laughs> and yes I am going to name it South Korea because it's Korea and it's south I <laughs> mean how would that not be geographically accurate okay what does Great Britain have They got that, but they don't have a fort. They like me, but they're attacking my colonial subject. And they do have some colonies down here that probably aren't super loyal. Yes, they are. They're allied to each other. So I think they became disloyal. Great Britain has brought that down. Ooh, an alliance system, though. I don't think they're going to join them in an offensive war. Okay, England. You need to back off. It's on you. Hmm. Yeah, let's try to close them off a little bit here. Hong Kong coming through. <laughs> Okay, we got 200 points. I don't want to spend that kind of money. This guy's going to just sit on that colony in progress. Speaking of colonies in progress. Let's actually wait for them to get locked in. They are locked in. Okay. Wow, they stopped it. Which is surprising because I was going to steal it from them. Maybe my subject burnt it or something? Okay, who controls it? My subject does. It's not completed, so there's no button for me to be able to shift occupation over to me. That's unfortunate. I mean, we'll take it in peace deal. I was just going to steal it first, because... That's what Great Britain deserved. And their enthusiasm is already medium. Okay. 
Okay, this one will steal. Where do you think you're going? Our navy. This navy. I can't wait to use it against somebody like Britain. Now, I do see that these are mountains, but I'm going to attack them in the mountains anyway. Hi! Because they're mostly artillery and cavalry. They don't have a whole lot of infantry. They're kind of glass cannons. And we control all of the territory for reinforcing casualties. So. We're going to win that arms race. Uh, let's get a couple guys up here. And let's see if they're ready to concede California. Not quite yet. Um, we're not the war leader. So that's some silliness. I think they changed that in the new Hungary patch. Hey, where are you guys? I was hoping you'd be in Indonesia. Okay, blockade efficiency or spilled. Yeah, this costs us monarch points, so we're going to choose the other one. Okay, we get some money from our clergy. Yeah, I think that this is the right way to go, because we get 531, and we can make them happy with a mere 700, sorry, 379. So if we do this, and then offer them money back, we've made money in the deal. They're not as happy with us as they were, but we got to pocket the difference between those two numbers. Okay, so we do have a little bit more force limit. So let's get this up to 36. I do want to split up these trips so that we don't suffer any attrition. I can get six more troops. I'm just going to buy some infantry here. Eventually that will become a real army. I might as well. Uh, yeah, there's too many people down here. I'm curious if our conquistador could get us through. At least through Kokomaz. Well, let's try this the other way. Okay, so they had to give up one province. Hollis. Which Great Britain or possibly Conklin just abandoned. That was a kind of dumb peace deal. Okay. Unfortunately, we've got troops up here. What does our stability cost us these days? 
131. We're going to lose the Diplo points. I can't do anything about that at the moment. Go ahead and cancel our military access there. And let me keep an eye on our time. We're at 15 minutes. Okay, good. Bunker Highveld. Yeah, well. Oh, they completely destroyed it. Okay, so we can attack. Portugal. Um, but I mean, we really don't need this stuff. I'm not going for world conquest. Now our ideas have become a little bit more expensive. Okay, so I'm going to do our own subjects now, Outraged. Hi, right, Mr. Kahav. Gotten a little bit more Liberty Desire. Shame on him. And again, we could invade Japan, but I don't have too much reason to do that at the moment. Could start getting better advisors. I prefer plus two rather than plus three for now. It's weird that it's doing that twice. First time I'll just throw you up here, and then the second I'll move you from there down to wherever it actually is. Okay, so what do we want? Port maintenance on border with rivals for free. That's pretty good. I don't know if we have that. <laughs> I don't think we do. Let's go ahead and check our states. So this needs to be a state. And our clergy is getting needy again. So we could... You know what? There's an argument to be made for getting this stuff stated. And that argument... Called We Want. We want Live Long and Prosper. So we need 30 states, and this stuff, even though it's not going to help us out in trade power very much, it is useful to us for the purpose of getting that achievement because it's going to have a lot of prosperity. I mean, the stuff that just got stated isn't so much. Okay, one province to each estate here. No oh, gold. Okay, we'll just give that one to the nobility. It doesn't have a great trade good. Don't need that for it.
Love to get that down. So if we decrease the autonomy, it's not really going to give us much unrest. But doing that does give us a little bit more absolutism. I'm not sure if there's any great places there where we could just give it to an estate. Okay, so it's costing us 250. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna power through to the end. And then we'll get caught up on tech. His ideas are just so cheap. Okay, we can get money. Let's go for the prestige and not owe anyone anything. Okay, so this one would go to the clergy. And our state should be happy for now. That's our gold mine. So I'm going to move the troops over there to just suppress that little bit of unrest that we caused. Price of wine went up, that really doesn't affect us much, I don't imagine. We definitely could fabricate on VJ and threaten for some of that territory. That be helpful to us though. I think what we really need to do is get some more Hindu provinces, but we probably have enough down here. Yeah, that's that's well over 20 development. That's 32 by itself. Okay, there's no room for another building unless I get rid of one of these. But I definitely want to put a university in here. Because that's so high development. We could potentially pull out one of these buildings. Like this one, once the autonomy is actually down to zero. And then that would let us put in manufacturing. Nope, let me attack my subject. Attack the Conklin. And let you get away with that. Tributary of Ming. <laughs> this is hilarious. I'm not very good at this. I think it's hinging on... on the lack of harmonization of religions. Since they're not harmonizing and they're not converting, it's gonna stay that wrong culture too. I mean, harmonizing doesn't help with that. The fact remains that it's, it's the wrong culture, wrong religion. So I think they're going to have basically permanent rebel problems. Until they take humanist. And maybe even they pass that. Might have even taken humanist for all I know. No, not yet. Plutocratic helps. Yeah, if they take humanist and that they should be okay. We're still working on this. We get 0 0.08 per month. That's great.
This is going to be a little slow of a video, I think. Oh, we can attack Marsh Rapid Heat again. Poor still corn stuff. We still haven't even attacked Brunei. Oh, it's this guy that's trapped up here. Probably isn't going to be any get any better than than this. I have no forts. Starting colonies, I could are mine, but they are starting colonies, aren't they? No. Malacca, Malacca, starting colonies. And let's finish off these quality ideas. So that should have given us... Uh, not quite yet. We need the other half of the equation. I thought we had at least one. Yep, and we're just going to take this. 250 tail. That is glorious. Get a lot more ships now. I actually have a lot more land trips, too. Look at that. Okay, colonize Kandari. Sure, we'll do that. So that's exactly the number we want. We have up to 311. Where's that put us? Eh, 219. A little bit over, but that just means we need to conquer some stuff to get a little bit more coastal territory. That's what that means. And we've got a volunteer right here. Do we want in St. Lucia production efficiency and lower development cost, or we can get some legitimacy and make Ming happy? It's one province. I'm not going to develop there. Let's just make Ming happier. Probably like us quite a bit, but that certainly helps. Yeah. So now we can ease, pretty easily max it out and we'll keep it maxed out for a while. Stack wipe their army. So let's just go in for the kill and occupy all of their territory. We'll be able to extract some cash from them. That's silver. Enjoying that silver. We've got no unrest. Yeah, it's known. We could wait till February. So if robber barons expires and their influence goes up to 51. Okay, excellent. And we wanted to get Kandari, which I believe is in the Aleutian Islands. No. <laughs> like wrong continent. Look how good I am at geography, yo. Let's take a look at our time. 
uh, 29 minutes. Let's go ahead and stop here. Thank you for watching.